All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. I just got to say this, man, before I get this video started. Y'all are a hot mess. Y'all are a hot mess. Y'all can have people telling you in the offseason that we're going to make the playoffs. I do a video about how we're, we're, we're not mathematically eliminated and y'all losing y'all mind. I do it every year. So get your, get your facts right before you start commenting on the video. But, you know, one thing about YouTube is you got to be ready for everything. I challenge any one of y'all to make a video. Put your, put your face, put your opinion out there on, on these streets and you'll see what happens. So anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. It's been bothering me since I dropped my video. Um, but the people that said we we going to win 10 games and all that stuff, y'all let them, let them slide, right? I do this every year, every single year. Anyway, comes out that Jamal Williams was the first one to hit the COVID-19 list. Uh, he is out. Um, him, Tracy Walker, two others. That's that's as of 7.50 Friday night. This is bad, folks. This is bad. Now, the Lions said that there was a flu going around. And, and when the reporters asked, they asked him today during a media session, is it COVID? And he said no. Now, Dan Campbell might not have known. Uh, they did try to separate, like, the offense and the defense. And they tried to have them play, you know, be spread out. But Jared Goff is sick. It's a lot of people sick. I think it was 21 people have have some type of illness. And right now it's been confirmed, or not confirmed, I take that back. There are four people on the COVID reserve list. Now that doesn't mean necessarily they have COVID. It just means that they might've been in close contact, maybe. Um, so this is bad. This is bad. Like I, I, I had the Lions upsetting upsetting the Denver Broncos this week, which is something they haven't done. They have not beat Denver in Denver since 2011. Uh, over 10 years ago was our first win in Denver. Now, we did beat Denver a few years ago in Detroit, but we didn't beat them. We haven't beat them at the mile high in a minute. And so I'm like, you know, what does that mean for, for this week and even next week? Because I think I think if you if you've been vaccinated, it's something like it's something where because Aaron Rodgers was not vaccinated and he came back after no time. I thought it was 10 days you had to be out, but I think it, it might be five or something like that. But if you are vaccinated and you have two negative tests and 24 hours, you can come back. So if you're not vaccinated, then it's, there's a mandatory point of time that period of time that you have to be on the list, like away from the team completely. And that's how all that stuff happened with Aaron Rodgers. So I'm wondering, what's going to happen Sunday? Like, do we stand a chance? Now, I know Craig Reynolds has been, it, it will be likely, if not already, that he's been elevated to uh, the, the the roster. And this will be the first time that we've seen him all season, which I'm excited about because he was really the standout into that last game of the preseason. And this is the first time he'll see any in-game action all year, even with DeAndre Swift going out. But now Jamal Williams is out. So that means we're going to see... We're going to have Jefferson Swift is out. That means it's going to be Jefferson, Godwin, and Reynolds. So it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be a tough haul for the Lions. I don't know if they can do it. I mean, and the thing is, if Jared Goff goes, because we all know he's our best chance to win, if he does go, what percent is he going to be at? If he's, he just seems like he came back, he's starting to win. I know yesterday. In yesterday's press conference, he said he felt better than he did. He said he started feeling ill uh, Sunday, basically after the game, and he felt better yesterday, which was Thursday. So if he doesn't have COVID and he's unvaccinated and he tests, you know, negative, then he could go. But, I'm, you know, we need Jerry Goff. We, we need him in order to have a shot at winning this game. I'm going to keep it real. Keep it real. We, we went with the... Uh, we went with uh, Tim Boyle over David Blau. So what is that saying? That says that just Jared Goff is our best chance to win. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below, man. How worried of, uh, I guess it's kind of good that we're not in, in playoff contention, not really playing for anything because it doesn't really hurt. Uh, I don't think the Lions can choose to forfeit. It comes out that if there was some, uh, you know, they violation of COVID, COVID, of COVID protocols, then the Lions will be forced to forfeit, but is it? does it really matter? I mean, we're, we have the first pick right now, so it's not, I want my team to win, but if we have to forfeit, it wouldn't be a big deal. 
But yeah, man, let me know in the comments below how likely, like how are you feeling about half of our team? Yeah, almost half of our team, 40% of our team has been plagued with some type of undisclosed illness or diagnosed or on the COVID reserve list, which is terrible. Jamal Williams is on my fantasy team, but more than that, I hope he's okay. I feel bad for him because he fumbled for the first time in his career on Sunday, and he was looking forward to uh, kind of getting back on that horse, man. Blames himself, and at least the Lions got the win. I mean, the, the fumble was recovered by the Lions, but they got the win. So anyway, but like I said, man, look, y'all need to relax. Detroit Lions fans are the worst. Like I said, y'all get the people get to say we gonna win 10 games and spew Super Bowl every single year. And I make a video about making the playoffs, which is still mathematically possible, by the way. If you're gonna come at me, why don't you come at the NFL? Because they are mathematically in, in still alive. So don't blame me. Blame the NFL, all right? I do this every single year. I've been doing this for four years and I do it every year, every single year after week 12, different type of scenarios of which they can make the playoffs. So y'all need to relax a little bit, you know, take a chill pill. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man, but Detroit Lions fans, I tell you, got the most, mo run their mouth the most, but won't make a video at all. Won't, won't create any content, but they always got something to say. But I guess that's any fan base. But anyway, I'm all at y'all, man. Be safe.